Yes, how's it going? Welcome back. So in this video, we'll be looking at how you can counter formations for opposing teams that are much stronger than you. As you can see, the next match we're probably going to be having is against a team that is 106 versus our 94% rated team. So let's go ahead and check what their formation is and then I will tell you how you can counter the same formation. So as you can see over here, the guy is playing four attackers, two middle, one middle fielder, one defensive middle fielder and four defenders. So the first thing that you want to be doing is that if the opposition team is quite stronger than you, then first you want to be focused on the defense. So in order to counter this formation, what you want to be doing is that you want to be having if the opposition uh, person is having four defenders, then you're obviously going to be having four uh, four defenders to their four attackers. Uh, but what is much recommended is that if they have like four attackers, then you want to be having five defenders. So in order to counter this formation, what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be having five defenders and one defensive middle fielder. Right, right now I don't have a defensive middle fielder, so let's get this person playing the defensive middle fielder or even this guy. Anyways, so how we're going to arrange those are in the same man manner the opposing team's offenders are arranged. So let's say they had five defensive players in which four were attackers and they had two wingers and two strikers placed one behind the other one so we're going to place our defensive centers one behind the other one and two of our defensive uh, wingers right on the wings and then there's going to be one defensive middle fielder to counter his middle fielder and then we can place our middle fielder uh, centrally in order to make an offense and uh, then we can uh, start arranging for the offense so let's go ahead and see what their uh, defense is like so that we can counter their defense so as you can see we have right here arranged ourselves in order to to counter their offense with our defense uh, making our players in similar positions same as their offensive players and their four offensive players are always going to be having to deal with our five defensive players so now let's go ahead and add uh, offensive players as you can see the the guy has a defensive middle fielder over here so what we're going to be doing is that we are not going to be playing an attack attacking middle fielder because if you play an attacking middle fielder it will most probably be of no use because he has a defensive middle fielder already over there so what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be playing four offensive players all on the wings uh, on the wings and two strikers and one middle fielder leaving space for the offensive middle fielder in order to make his uh, defensive middle fielder of no use so this is how you can probably counter most of the formations what you want to be doing is that you want to be arranging your defensive players against their offensive players and your offensive players in a way that their defense is not there so let's go ahead and check uh, some other formation that we can maybe see that we can counter let's go to the league as you can see i'm first in the league using these uh, same counter attacking formula so let's go ahead and see if uh, there's any other team that we would like to counterattack. So let's, for example, take this one. Uh, as you can see over here, this guy, the one in purple, he he doesn't have a defensive middle fielder. So I can use that uh, position for attacking because you can see he has probably got all of my uh, offense covered. But one thing that we can do in order to play offensively against him is that we can probably not play the wingers since he also has a DL, DLs and uh, DRs so that is probably going to make my wingers worthless but instead what I can do is that I can use an AMC and use either two or three strikers in order to cover for his uh, four defensive players but the advantage that I would have over here is that his uh, defensive lefts and defensive rights would not be of that effect because I do not have those wingers and basically those players are going to be useless for him whereas as far as his offense is considered he does not have many players in the offense so we can even go with uh, four defensive players with uh, one DMC and three DCs but for the sake of it since he's a higher percentage than us we're going to be playing defensively so we are going to be having four defenders and one DMC 
so this is the formation i would be playing against that team i'm choosing this guy because he's a, a certain number stronger than me now you can see my strikers can overwhelm his defense and my attacking middle fielder is also there for support which will not be countered by any of the defensive middle fielders from the other side whereas in the middle field he does not have many middle field players so i can deal with one player as far as offensively how i can deal with them is that he has three offensive players one winger two wingers and a striker and for that one striker i have two dcs and one dmc and for those two wingers i have tls and drs both in place so that is how you can counter the formations in top 11 2024 that is it for the video guys until next time peace out